Good morning. Uh, it is day 11 on the Camino de Santiago Frances. I am Claudia. This is my wonderless Camino. Welcome to my channel. Um, today is Sunday, September 27th. It's 720, seven degrees. It is chilly. It's supposed to get up to 27 today. I'm just leaving Santo Domingo de la Calzada, going to Belo Lado this morning. Um, about 22 and a half kilometers. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Uh, yeah, it's uh, just hills today, fairly flat. I'm happy about that. My knee is doing great. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Check in with you later. Sunflowers, little tiny sunflowers. Hold it. Guys, <laughs> this looks like a painting. How beautiful. Here's your reminder to. Buen Camino. Look back. Wow. Hot air balloon. Wow. Beautiful. So this morning's walk has been along a major road, almost like a highway, I guess, um, and on gravel paths, but it's been really nice, beautiful. Look at my background. <laughs> there's some hot air balloons. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in the distance there. There. Um, and uh, the sun is now so it's warming up a bit. Um, we just came up a bit of a hill. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so beautiful. I know I keep saying it, but it is. It's so beautiful. Just got to the little town of Gagnon. Uh, 8.49. Walking for an hour and a half. And almost at 7 kilometers. This is the first town since... Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Uh, let me see if I can grab a coffee. I need something. Just had about a half hour break. Had a cafe con leche. Uh, thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, thank you so much for buying me a cafe con leche. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope one day you can walk the Camino and I can buy you a cafe con leche. Um, so I had cafe con leche and then I had the two hard boiled eggs. Well, two hard boiled eggs. That I boiled up last night, yogurt, 
and some walnuts. Um, so yeah, so I'm ready to go. Buenos uh, yeah. Gracias. So on to the next town, which now I can't remember the name, and it's four and a half kilometers away. Uh, today, lots of little towns in between. Uh, yeah, and it's just perfect walking weather. It's 9.30, I believe. Uh, 13 degrees. Perfect. Perfect weather. I took off my west vest and I'm wearing shorts. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. So we are slowly leaving the Rioja region, known for its wine and vineyards, and we are approaching the Castille de Leon region, and fields of wheat and sunflowers coming right up. So it's very brown, as you can see. Everything is very brown. I imagine that in June, July, August, it's very lush and green and beautiful sunflowers. Um, yeah, and also, as you notice, no shade. So in the summer, it would be, you'd have to do it early in the morning. This brownness is all sunflowers. Can you see the perfect rows of sunflowers? take the opportunity to stop, put on some sunscreen, take off my sun shirt. It is hot, like it's 13, but the sun feels whew, hot. Castilla e Leon. Do you pronounce the A? Or is it Castilla e Leon? So between Grenon and Redesila del Camino, uh, it was four kilometers, and it was four kilometers of just this, no shade, just be prepared. Um, we are at 11 kilometers, it's 10.30, uh, almost three hours into the walk, uh, so 11 kilometers. That means probably another 10 or 11 to go. So we've been walking along the N120 all day. 
sometimes they take us a bit further from it so you can't hear the road noise that much and then like now you're right by it and it's a pretty busy road and again I'm walking on gravel and no shade which is only 19 kilometers but I have a rest day so who knows maybe I'll run into them again or maybe not so we have to go like that and then along the road again Hi, Ohio. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you guys doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to be seen. <laughs> Better to be seen than shown. Yeah. Three kilometers to go. And thanks, Watson, for Camino playlist uh, number three. Psychedelic first. It was a great addition. Thanks. It's getting me through the last kilometers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been very brown and gravel path and no shade. Absolutely no shade. So it just seems like uh, the last seven kilometers have taken forever. But I think I'm, I have three more to go. So let's get it done. Goodness, we finally arrived to Colorado. Never been so happy. It seemed like it took forever. I think it's just because the sun is out, it feels really hot, um, and there was like just brown and gravel walking. Um, it's 12.57, wow, I'm impressed. Five hours and 20 minutes, and it says 22.5 kilometers. This is just the uh, beginning of the town, so let's see. It's just, just so brown. <laughs> My hostel is just off that big plaza right over here. Hostel B. Let's go see if I can check in. So I'm here. I'm on the third floor. Um, it's a hostel. And there's people here. So um, eight people. Eight? No. Um, just to wash your hands, and then, oh, showers, here, I guess communal showers. I'm 
cloth. And then I believe um, these are the first and second floor private rooms. What's this? Bed for three? Bed for four. I mean, room for three, room for four. And then another floor, the first floor, same thing. So I just saw a few other pilgrims coming in, um, a dad and his two sons that I had uh, from Sansol, he was at Sansol with them, and he, he was just getting here, and he was like, what did you think of that uh, walk? And I said, uh, it was <laughs> brutal. I said, brown, brown, and some more brown, and his son's like, and then you go over the hill and down, and brown. That's what it was. It was all brown. It is toasty now. I think it's 20. Oh, it says it's 24, but it feels much warmer than 24. So this is a monastery in Belorado where the nuns make, make and sell chocolate. So you can go inside um, and buy chocolate from them. I'm just in the Plaza Mayor in Belorado. So let's do a closing for today because I don't think I'm going to spend any more money. It is a quarter to six. Um, today was kind of hard and everyone's saying the same thing. It was only 23 kilometers, but um, the last eight kilometers was hard. I think because it was hot um, and it was just brown and it was walking on gravel and it seemed like it was never going to end. Um, so uh, total for today is, now I can't remember, I think it's 33. It was 18 to stay at the albergue at the hostel and then I'm doing the dinner um, at the hostel and that's 14. Um, and then uh, I washed my clothes by hand, but I don't think they were going to dry, so I took them to the laundromat and I'm drying them. That's three euros. Um, I had a coffee in the morning, a cafe con leche, that's 170, and then I had an ice cream when I got here, so that's another 170. So what did I say, 33? Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to Atapueca and that will be 30 kilometers. So 
see how that goes. I think I'm gonna, seeing how today went, I'm probably gonna leave a lot earlier tomorrow. Um, probably gonna aim for maybe 6 a.m. to be out the door. Uh, just cause it'll be a long day. I'm also full of mosquito bites. I don't know if you can see. Like, just full of them. Somebody had commented that they walked in May and they had no mosquitoes. Well, every, it seems like everyone has mosquito bites. Alright, so that's it for tonight. I'll post what our meal is and I'll chat to you tomorrow. Bye.